I also don't quite understand why uh, uh, people are so triggered by by Stefan Molyneux. I mean, I guess it's like the thing that I heard the most was that he's done uh, he's done several shows on like uh, race and IQ and and talking about the the disparity between average IQs and different racial groups. And it's like, all right, um, do you have an argument? against what he's presenting. I mean, if so, then fucking make your argument. And like, yeah, if you make a superior argument, I'll be like, yeah, that was a better point. Um, but th this thing where you're just offended and you just call names, I mean, the guy's not a white nationalist. He's he's a libertarian anarcho-capitalist. It's literally, he said that when we were on the show together. Now, you can think he's not a good anarcho-capitalist or something, or he's violating the principles, but again, make the fucking argument. To just have a conversation about the the disparities between race and IQ. I mean, look, here's the truth. That shit is a scientific fact. Now, it's not something that I fucking spend a, a lot of time talking about. I don't really know what to do with that information, to be honest. Um, but there is really no debating that there are there are pretty drastic differences uh, uh, on average IQs between different racial groups. And that's, um, you know... What leads to that, I think, is very murky. Like, I really don't know, um, you know, to what degree it's environmental or to what degree it's it's genetic. I've spoken to a few, like, legit experts in the field, just personally, like, off the podcast. Spoken to a few legit experts, and, and pretty much all three of them told me they were like, it's a really complicated, like, field. And we really don't understand as much about the human brain as some people like claim to. And I, all of them told me, said be very skeptical of anybody who makes the claims that it's like, well, it's 80% genetic and 20% environmental or something like that. Like we really don't exactly understand uh, that. But that being said, all of them did say that IQ is, you know, the people who are like, oh, the IQ test is completely arbitrary. And it's actually, it's not. It's a very good predictor of outcomes. Um, and, uh, that's, you know, so look, the part of the reason why my guess would be, and I'm somewhat speculating here, but my guess is why a libertarian would want to talk about IQ disparities the same way Charles Murray or Stephen Molyneux or anybody like that, who's like libertarian or libertarian leaning wants to talk about disparities between IQ uh, averages is that. You know, and this is the same reason why Murray Rothbard celebrated the bell curve when it first came out. Like he was real into it because he goes, "This is a da I, excuse me." He goes, "This is a dagger through the progressive narrative that disparities in outcome prove discrimination." It's like, oh, we have this other explanation for it now. Okay, that's all, and and that's fine. Now, if you don't, by the way, if you don't believe uh, in that there are disparities in average IQs or that you believe that they're environmental or something like that. Well, it's like, okay, well then you should still be uh, an ANCAP libertarian and you'll be proven wrong. There'll be, there'll, there won't be disparities in outcomes or whatever, I guess, you know, I don't know. Um, but if you're going to say that, that, um, you know, differences in outcomes uh, aren't determined uh, purely by um, pr uh, um, discrimination, or at least that they're not evidence in themselves of of discrimination, then you are kind of looking for another alternative. Anyway, this isn't the stuff that I like. Th this isn't my area of expertise. Um, this isn't like what I try to spend a lot of time talking about, but I'm certainly not going to not be friendly with somebody because they do talk about a thing that you've decided is off limits. And whatever, I, I just, you know, I, I fucking, I, you know, it's such a weird thing, such a fucking weird dynamic that I just, you can never, it's like, it, it, it's out of a fucking, um, so the, a Twilight Zone episode or something like that. But isn't it fucking crazy, you know, that the, the topic at hand is of war and peace, you know, and the wars that we've been fighting for the last 20 years almost have, have killed millions of people, and they're brown. I mean, like, the, it's Muslim, it's brown people in a third world country. We're talking about fucking, like, slaughtering brown children 
or, or, you know, maybe just starving them to death or just ruining their life, you know, or killing their parents in front of them or some, these like horrific things. And all the people that our society deems racist are pretty much all against that. And then the people who are for it are the first ones to throw out the term racist against people who oppose it. I, Stefan Molyneux has been against these wars forever. Isn't that way more important than doing a podcast about IQ differences? I said, please explain to me what I'm missing here. Why, like, you know, somehow, uh, um, whatever, like so, somebody who's, you know, even like the alt-right guys, they're all against these wars. I mean, they may be against them for different reasons, but like, isn't it, isn't that far more important than harboring some some nasty views if you if you do you know what I mean like it just it just makes no sense to me and um and I'm not gonna go along with that bullshit like that I definitely won't will will not do like I'm never going to value uh some uh, some loose accusation of racism over someone advocating mass murder like that's just that you're not gonna get that from me I'm a little bit too consistent for that shit.